Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I'm continuing to work on my binder mail with the coffee theme. And um, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on showing you guys how to make these cute little altered clothes pins with some buttons and some bling. I really like the way that these look on a half page. So you can see I've got, I've got a full page here. This is what a full page looks like. And then this one is a half page. It looks really cute in there. So uh, let's get crafting here. Show you guys. So you just need some mini clothespins. And then raid your button stash. I know you guys have lots of buttons. I have buttons galore. And then some little gems. And um, whatever glue of your choice. I also found in my little embellishment stash this cute little flower I'm gonna try to put on there. And um, I'm using hot glue, so we're just gonna get going. Um, you're gonna put some hot glue on your clip here. It's really important to put it on your clip because if you put it on the button, you'll have way too much glue. So we're just gonna push this here. Make sure that's centered. And you want to make sure that you don't glue the clips so that it will still chomp here and grab your paper. Once that's dry, we're going to glue the next piece. One thing I kind of like to do is um, use the little sheet and just set it on there to see what it looks like. You can kind of decide which color you like. I think I'm going to go for this dark blue one. Some of these are sticky already, these gems, but I like to add a little extra glue just to make sure it's going to stay stuck. So I'll add some more hot glue. And then push the gem right on in there. And then you have this cute little add-on to your page just using stuff you probably already have in your stash. And I really like the looks of them <clears throat> clipped on to this little half of a page. Just like that. These are some other ones that I've made with a little flower shaped uh, button. You can use round buttons, square buttons, whatever kind of buttons that you have. All right, let's check out this other one, see if we can get it to layer up. So I think I'm gonna try and glue this first and then we'll glue the, the gem on there. when you're done if you're using a glue gun make sure you clean up all your strings you can use whatever glue that you prefer to use I know some people use like that I think it's e6000 or whatever and that would probably work just fine and let's see we can do this big one we could do one of these I think I kind of like that or we could do a smaller one Maybe we'll do the smaller one because then it'll show the, the little gem or the little flower. So I did this one in a little different order. I was excited and um, put together the button first, which you can totally do. And now it's all ready. And we'll just glue it right onto our clip. There we go. Isn't that just so cute? I love it. I love how it looks on there. That's just too, too cute. All right, you guys, there you go. That's how, there you have it. That's how you make one of these cute little embellishment clothespins. Make sure you hit the like button if you liked it and check back for more videos on how I'm making my binder mail. I'm gonna do a complete 
uh, flip through video when I'm all done and ready to send it out. It's going to uh, someone really great for a challenge and we'll see how that all works out. But until next time, be sure to hit like and subscribe and um, let me know in the comments if you try to make these little clothespins. I'd love to see some of your work. Talk to you again soon.